when you use fallback in the contract and when someone will send the ether into the contract via transfer method or via send method in that scenario the minimum gas they have to pay is 2300 and that's the only thing you have to keep in mind about the fallback now let's see in the example that how exactly it's going to work now let's follow the general conventions and we have to provide the salty version let's create a contract and we're going to call it fallback inside that we're going to create an event and we're going to provide a string fun and we're going to provide a unt gas this is our event we have now and fallback function must be declared as external and that's what we have done here we have made it public external so it can receive fun and that we're going to define a couple of things so when you use the send and transfer method in that scenario this is the gas fee you pay and inside the fallback function we're going to call our event so we're going to say fallback and we have to pass the gas and which we have is gas left just simply call this function let's create a receive external payable and that we have to define that logs receive and the gas left the function we have to call here and we're going to simply come down now let's create a helper function so we'll say function get balance public view return is going to return the unt and we have to simply check the balance of the contract let's create another contract we'll call send to fallback in that we're going to create a function we'll call say transfer to fallback and that we're going to transfer the address sorry we have to provide the address to transfer the phone public payable so it can receive and then we have to call the transfer method now let's create another function we'll call it fallback in that we're going to use this payable and the same method we have to call boolean send we have to call this call method and then we have to simply true the transfer so i believe this is nothing new to all of you guys this is what we have followed in the send ether contract and the same thing we are following here so that's the entire smart contract we have written hope this makes sense to all of you we have created two contract and in that we have built this logics so now let's test this, this. <laughs> now let's so now let's test this out so this is the entire smart contract we have written for the fallback this is the event we have this is the fallback function this is the receive function and here we are checking the balance of the contract this is the second contract we have in that we have this two function transfer ether and call ether these are the two method to transfer the ether now let's simply deploy the contract this is the first contract we're going to deploy the fallback and here you can see this is what we have here right now we have this zero balance if you call this one we have this zero balance now what i can do is let's deploy the other contract if we click on the deploy here you can see we have the contract here if you open that we need to pass the address in which we want to transfer the fund so i simply copy this address and simply paste here and do the same thing from here as well and here we have to define the amount which we want to transfer so i want to go with five ether so let's call this fallback so this function first to transfer if we call that one the transfer went successful and if we see the logs here you can see this is the function we have called and you can see this is the address we have provided and this is the entire log you can see this is the receive receive and this is the id this is the function we have called and this is the gas and this is the gas so this function provided by salty so if you want to check that what is the gas you have paid you can simply call this function and you can have a log and that's what we can see it let's call the other function the same thing happen to this if you come here click on this you can see the address of the contract and you can see the receive and the id and the amount uh, sorry the function you have called and the gas you have paid so this looks pretty fine this is nothing complicated it's pretty simple all we have done created two contract and we are logging the data of each of this one so hope this makes sense to all of you guys if you still have any confusion any doubt do leave in the comment section and if we come here in the fallback if you can see here we have this five if we call this get balance you can see this is the amount we have transferred into the contract so hope this makes sense to all of you the only thing you have to keep in mind that you have to check that what amount you are paying as a gas fee so this is something you knew you have learned so with that i'm ending this video hope you guys have found this video valuable if you have still any confusion any doubt do leave in the comment section i'll try to help you in that and i try to explain in a better way so with that let's move to the next video